Okay, everybody. Day two with the truck. First full day, we stopped by AutoZone, got some cleaning supplies, and we're gonna be trying to do a full detail under the hood of this thing. Now, at one point, the truck did have a hood stack, new hood, obviously, but at one point, it did have a hood stack, therefore got a lot of soot in the engine bay all along the firewall, the fenders, and all that stuff. So it's very dusty under here, but, cleaned up, it looks really good. I saw some photos of the previous owner when this was all detailed and this was all clean and not dusty and grimy and it looked really, really spectacular under the hood here. Put a bag just now over the intake because we're gonna do a little bit of pressure washing and cleaning under here. And I just don't wanna get a bunch of water on the intake so when we start it up, it didn't suck water in right away. When you're using pressurized water, pressure washing under the hood, you know, better be safe than sorry. You don't wanna damage anything. And I might even actually, once I'm done with everything else, take the air filter off and pressure wash it to clean it up because it looks pretty dirty and then dry it and then put it back in. But let's get to cleaning this engine bay and getting it looking a lot better. So some products that we got is a Mother's Power Cone 360. We've got a detailing brush here. We have some all-purpose style citrus power cleaning plus some Meguiar stuff. This stuff is supposed to be for like wheels, engine bays, basically just a degreaser. And of course, you've gotta have some tire foam. So let's get to it, let's get to First using a pressure washer and a vacuum. Vacuum first, then pressure washer, and getting the cleaning under the hood of this truck. <laughs> full detail on the truck interior got all vacuumed out mats are pressure washed the best we could get them the dash got all wiped down and let me show you what we did under the hood here this took me about three hours to complete what I did all of this stuff wiped down thoroughly sprayed I even took this out, pressure washed the filter inside and out, and then I took a leaf blower and stuck it on the end of it and leaf blew all the uh, moisture that was left in it until there was nothing left coming out. I scrubbed off all the soot on this whole back firewall with whatever I could reach underneath here all the way around and all of this under here. This was all coated. I got that all out as well. And yes, you will notice that the truck only has one battery. The truck only has the one side battery on the driver's side. I don't know why it doesn't have one over here other than maybe weight reduction, but uh, I'm not sure. Truck starts totally fine though with just the one, but um, I'm not really 100% positive the reason for that other than maybe weight or getting it out of the way of something. Or the fact that there was a hood stack in here at one point, I don't know if that would mean you couldn't have a second battery here or not, but you know, that might have something to do with it, I don't know. But we do have the new fender liner that should be here next week, early next week. The guy I bought the truck off of wasn't around. I was actually buying it from a buddy of his that was able to meet with me. And he said he will run the fender liner for the wheel well there next week. He'll drop it by. Uh, but we did get all that cleaned out the best that we could. Cleaned up the intake piping, wiped everything down. This was all gunked up, super detail. All of the shroud here, all of this as well. I wiped down all of this. This was all pretty bad. Uh, I wiped down the um, washer fluid container here, intake horn, the piping down low, the valve cover on top, the um, engine cover, whatever you want to call it, the Cummins cover. Everything that I could reach, there's still some more stuff to get to. You can see there's some soot back there still. It's just hard to reach. I mean, it takes a, I mean, it takes a lot of scrubbing and throwing away rags and towels and scrubbing some more and more and more. It doesn't really end. There's a lot back there. Just impressed with what I was able to get done so far. You can see the difference between that and that. Just to get this engine bay as clean as I did took me a few hours of scrubbing and scrubbing some more. I mean, it was a lot of lot of time just to get it to where it is now 
and uh, I'm definitely happy with where it's at, but there's still a little more to do. Now there are some decals on the truck and I asked you guys on Instagram, should we take them off? And you guys said yes. The decal right there by the driver's side, the Firepunk one over there, and then the Hoonigan sticker on the back. When I say sticker, it's multiple stickers. It's a big segment of stickers to spell it out. Hopefully that comes off easily and it doesn't leave a bunch of weird marks, but let's get to getting these decals off and making this thing look a little cleaner. Decals are gone all the way around. And I actually was able to get all of the residue off. You can see how squeaky clean that glass is. The tailgate turned out pretty stinking good. There's still like, a, if you look real close, there's a really faint shadow, like where that Hoonigan sticker was. But for the most part, it came out really, really clean and you really can't hardly tell it was ever there. There's just a couple little teeny tiny like lines and stuff where it held dirt for so long. But um, if we have like a little, you know, wash wheel or something, like when we clean the truck again here soon, we should be able to wheel that off and uh, get it with enough circular motion that it should get any little bit of residue that's left there off pretty, pretty nicely. Um, we're actually gonna be shooting some video with this truck here this evening. I just finished cleaning the whole thing again, this time inside and out, engine bay, all that stuff they're gonna be shooting some video. It's gonna be really cool. Hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, we're gonna to try to get some rollers and stuff. My brother's gonna come over and he's gonna help either film or drive and Reagan is going to, again, either film or drive, whichever one's driving. Obviously the other will be filming and we're gonna to try to get some really good uh, shots of this truck rolling around. And hopefully it turns out wonderful. I think it will, but you never know. However, I did think that until then I was going to talk to you guys about what's done to this truck. So I told you guys that it had, you know, bigger turbo injectors and stuff and whatever, but I didn't really, I couldn't remember what it was. I didn't have my phone on me, but I have it now. So it's got ARP 425s, 88% nozzles 10 millimeter cp3 s464 turbo with a billet wheel wheels are brand new tires are within the last 1500 miles trans is fresh with all paperwork has billet shafts gpz clutches upgraded servo fm vb truck came out of the south super clean interiors 9 out of 10 exterior 9 out of 10 about thirty thousand dollars worth of work into the truck in the last year but I need to buy a house. So that's essentially why he sold it. Um, the truck is the truck is awesome. Uh, I just, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you have to give up some of your fun things to buy other fun things like a new property and house. He was telling me about it. I was like, yeah, uh, I can I can see the trade off. So that's a gist of what's been done to it. The truck does also have a fleece sump on it and it's got an air dog lift pump. I didn't see that in the ad that I just read off, but it does have that down low there. It's also got the pro comp traction bars and stuff. I mean, it's, um, yeah, it's got, it's got some other stuff that he didn't list. He just listed off some things that he knew for sure that were done to it and some things that he had done to it as well. Super happy to have the decals off, uh, but that's a gist of what's done to the truck. And I am reading your comments on what to do in terms of paint matching and not paint matching certain things. So keep them coming. It's gonna be sweet.
got those rollers. Hopefully guys thought those were pretty cool. We're gonna be using them for some advertising coming up for this sweet truck that you guys are gonna be able to enter to win. On that note, should we do some uh, some content of trolling some people going down the road in this thing? You know, find some people with some sports cars and mess with their head a little bit with this thing. I don't know. Let me know if you guys wanna see that down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Gonna try to step it up with some of the video content here the best that we can, trying to keep you guys entertained and enjoying the videos. Thank you guys so much. Catch you in the next video. Peace.